Hey guys, this is Arthur. Um, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to fake spec on the eye. If you watched my previous tutorial, I covered how to create the eyes in Maya. So now I'm gonna teach you guys how to take away the spec and recreate it with textures. So you have full control over this specular. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away the reflections and the specularity of this of this shader and reapply um, reflections using hypershade and using a different shader, the Fong shader. Uh, it could, you could use a blend, but I don't know. I just like Fongs. Uh, fongs are cool. Sounds better than blend. I don't know. Personal preference, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to it. So, this is an eye I came up with. Um, nothing too fancy. Again, if you watched my previous video, it's pretty much the same thing. So, I'll take the cornea and let's take away these. Let's take away its reflectivity. So, this is my shading graph. This is the graph. And here in this Mia material, the cornea Mia, Mia material, um, I'll take away its reflectivity. So bring down reflectivity to zero, bring down the glossiness to zero. Ooh, what a delay. There. Can't really bring down glossiness to zero, but you can bring its samples to zero. And it will not render glossiness anymore. That's it. Now its specularity is gone. Its reflectivity is gone. Now we have to make new reflectivity. Let's create a fong. Now in this fong, let's take away the things we don't need. We don't need color. We don't need diffuse. We don't need translucence. We don't need translucent focus. We don't need the specular because we're going to fake that. All we need is the reflectivity. Again, my settings are point two seven there you go now in the cornea all we have to do is just hook this up to reflectivity and we're done um go down hit reflectivity and hook that up to reflectivity close there you go now we're faking the reflectivity if i render this you get the same thing this is what will come out only without the spec so if I let's do a quick render, renders pretty fast. There, see, we maintained the reflections, but now all the spec is gone. We that big dot there is gone. Yeah, render. I should really cut these videos during the renders <laughs> there and come on there you go see and now the specular is gone but we maintain the reflective values it's the same reflectivity you get from the Mia which is quite interesting yeah so all the reflections are there. All we did was take out the spec. So now let's apply a new spec. There's several ways to do this. The way I do it is I usually make a new sphere. I duplicate this. Scale it up a bit. Just a bit. Just so it's on top. And I apply a Lambert. A bit more I guess there you go now this will be our lens so don't worry about the refractions and the reflections because there will be no effect because we will apply a surface shader so this will not reflect this will not refract refract what <laughs> this will not refract and this will not reflect so in this surface shader let me graph this I'll bring the out color up to white 
and I will use a, um, a ramp. So let's take out this ramp and apply it to the transparency. And the ramp, I will use a circular ramp. Circular ramp. There you go. And again, you have to be at viewport 2.0 with the checker box on. Okay. Now change these values to black and white again. No, actually, this can be a V ramp, sorry. Doesn't have to be a circular ramp. Then sharpen this. It's not happening. Why isn't it happening? It will happen with a. Ah, it doesn't work on surface shaders. Might as well use a Lambert, I guess. Yeah. Do the same thing with the Lambert. Just make the color white and the ambient color white. And then in the transparency node, throw in this ramp. There you go. Graph this network. Doesn't seem to be doing it. Ambient color? Oh, it's the ambient color. I see. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, there you go. Okay. So I can bring back the ambient color. There. Just so it won't. So it acts like a surface shader. So there, you we're seeing results. And there you go. It's like a fake spec. And to control this, all you have to do is rotate this. Aha. But now you guys might be wondering. This is deformed, right? So if I hit a place aside from, it's deformed, so it will not follow the shape of the whole sphere, right? So this method will not work. It will work for some cases if you guys are working with a cartoony setup, but for something like this, no, it will not work. Okay, so how do we do fix that then? Um, I'll apply another Lambert. And let's bring back its rotations to zero. Rotation zero. Oh, I hit the scale there. One. Oh. There. Oh, yeah. I did not freeze the rotation. There. 90. Okay. Back to normal. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to project maps onto it. So projection okay let us go to create uh, 2d textures and in your 2d textures you want 2d project projection there you go so when I make a ramp a projection node will come out and if I apply this to the color no to the transparency again there. Now it works. You will not see it here. You will not see it happening because you will see it happening in default quality rendering. For some reason, things cannot work together in one place. So, interactive placement. I'll take the transformation and just do that. I want to scale this up a bit. And that should work. Okay, so now I take I take my new ramp. Let me graph this. I'll take my new ramp, then I'll apply a circular ramp and bring it to black and white. And 
nothing's happening. But why? Okay, new game plan. Mm. Let's apply this to color, just so we can see what's happening. There you go. Just as I thought. So I think we have to scale up this projection a bit more because we're seeing some warping on the side. So scale it up all the way where it covers the whole thing. Then in your ramp, that's where we play with the settings. Aha! You are working the way you're supposed to. Now what about transparency? Um, transparency, wait. Transparency, I believe if you take the same node and just throw it into transparency, should work. And render viewport 2.0. And okay, back to this place. Okay, we want to move this up. So what we do is we do an aim constraint. So you select this ball and this, then con um, go to your animation tab, then do constrain, aim constraint. So when I move this, it will always aim towards the ball. Balls. There. Let me try that. Is that a marker? Yep, we can try rendering this, see what happens. It should work. Hmm, interesting. The alpha is inverted. I see. Um, so in the transparency, break connection. And you take this alpha, this ramp, then you hook it up to a luminance. Luminance. No, you don't have to. A reverse. A reverse node. There you go. Then you hook up ramp to reverse. Um, you might want to select value. Input. There you go. And the reverse you place into projection by default fish. Just take projection, plug in image. Oh dear lord, no. I think I need another projection. Duplicate this, then reverse here, default. No, image. Come on, work with me. Duplicate this and hook that up to this default. No, it is in 3D. World inverse matrix is connected to projection one. Okay, projection one placement matrix. So let's do other world. Invert matrix. Enter the matrix. Have you guys seen the matrix? God, I love that movie. World inverse matrix. Zero is connected to placement matrix. Close. Is that right? Yep, that was right. Apply it to. Now I want to apply it to the transparency node. There you go. Now everything should work well. I render this. There you go. So we're using the same ramp. So when you change the size of the ramp, you also change the size of its alpha. And when you move the ramp around, you just move it along with the with the oh god. <laughs> with the placement texture along with the alpha. So we could simply parent the placement nodes to a single circle and move that around.
<coughs> that's it. Just wait for the render and yep. You could also apply this texture. You could also apply this technique to cartoony eyes. Like if you wanted to project different textures, you could project you could project them to different eye setups. So yeah, and if you want your spec to glow, you could also do that with in the glow node of the Lambert. Yeah, a lot of possibilities, guys. A lot of possibilities. Yeah. Rendering. The only time we get to rest. <laughs> I should really cut these out. <laughs> I'm lazy. Anyways, I hope this helps. And remember, just keep on practicing. Hypershade is your friend. A very good friend. Yeah, very understanding friend. I think it's the only thing that Maya did right. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, I will not let this finish render. I'm working on my laptop. My laptop is really slow, so yeah. And with the recording on, the rendering gets slower. So you guys know. You, you guys see what it does. Okay? Alright. Take care, guys. I hope this helped. Tell me what you think, show me what you made, <coughs> and what should I do next? Cheers! <laughs>